chapter three, assets and bases. Right. So assets and bases is not a new concept to you. You've been studying assets and bases for for years. All right. Now what we'll do is we will try to make it more towards organic chemistry and not like a general assets and bases you learned before. All right. So what, based on your experience, when I say when I, whenever I say certain thing is an acid, then what we're looking at. Okay. So let's say for example HCl. Okay. So when you you hear a term HCl, okay, that means you know it's an acid. Okay, why HCl is an acid? Yeah. H2SO4, right? H2SO4 is an acid. Why H2SO4 is an acid? Right? HNO3, right? And then you have acetic acid. So acetic acid is your OH. That's your organic acid, right? So let's say all these ones are acids. Okay, based on your experience. Okay, so what is the one common thing which which makes HCl as an acid, H2SO4, HNO3, or acetic acid as an acid? Okay, that's the hydrogen. So all of them has hydrogen. Okay, one or more hydrogens. Okay, so can I make a general statement here? Okay, anything which has a hydrogen. Okay, so let's say anything which has a hydrogen. It's an acid. Okay, so these are all the acids. All right, so that's what you have. You have H, and A can be chlorine, can be oxygen, can be nitrogen. Okay, it doesn't matter what A you have, but one common thing here is the hydrogen. Okay, so general statement anything with, with the hydrogen can be an acid. Okay, so then the next question is what is a base then? So let's go by examples, like what kind of examples we have for bases. Like, so the common base is NaOH, right? KOH, right? Then you have lithium hydroxide, right? You can have NaNH2, right? You can have NaOCH3. Right. So these are the common bases you might have seen, especially the NaOH. Okay. So anytime you you say a base, that means it has to be NaOH most likely. Right. So then again, if I have to call somebody a base, then what I'm looking for, what is the common thing here? Okay. So the common thing here is all these atoms. Right. So you have oxygen bonded to sodium, oxygen bonded to potassium, oxygen bonded to lithium. So these are all the metals. Okay, they're on the left hand left hand side of the periodic table, forming the bond with the right hand side of the periodic table. Okay, so when left and right forms a bond, that bond is ionic. So you have a plus and minus here. So potassium plus O minus, lithium plus O minus, sodium plus NH2 minus. So you have all these negative charges on the oxygen or nitrogen, right? So all these are negatives. So you have negative, negative here. And all these are positive all right so <clears throat> what is the common thing here then we have all the negative charges okay on nitrogen or oxygen that's the common thing so can I make a general statement here that anything with a negative charge is your base okay so it can be anything right as long as it has a negative charge a negative charge is also same as electron pair Remember, negative charge also means electron pair. So anything which has electron pair can also be a base, right? So such as water, right? So if you have, if you look at the structure of water, then we have electron pairs on the oxygen, right? So that fits, fits in the rule that anything which has electron pair can be a base. So water can also be a base, all right? How about water putting here? So if I place water on this category, can water, can water also be an acid? Yes, because water has hydrogen. So anything with has hydrogen <clears throat> can also be an acid, right? So water can go both ways. It can be a base or it can be an acid, okay? It depends on the reaction, what you carry, right? But just to make it a general statement here, anything which has a hydrogen can be a base and anything which has a negative charge or electron pair can be a base, okay? So acids and basis right? <clears throat> so 
So what are the bronze steel lowry assets and bases, right? So if you say what is an acid, by definition, an acid is a proton donor. <clears throat> okay, and a base is opposite to that is a proton acceptor. <clears throat> a proton is a hydrogen, right? So proton is a hydrogen. So <clears throat> if I say an acid is a proton donor, right? That means if I want to donate a proton, then I should have a proton, right? And that's why we, we have all these protons here, all the hydrogens. That's why anything which has a hydrogen is an acid, okay? And a base is a proton except for so the base is, will go and accept a proton, all right? That's why it's a proton acceptor right now the question is what's going to happen when i mix acid and base together okay so that's where we get into reactions now okay so mixing acid and base and observing what happens as or what you get as a product right so let's say you have we start with a general structure here right so h a and b minus right so here if i have a h as my acid, right, and B minus as my base, right. So anything with a proton is a bronsted lowry acid and base, right. So in this case, we can call this as a bronsted acid. And this is a bronsted base. <clears throat> right, so when I mix them together, what you expect Okay, base is a proton acceptor. So base will go and accept a proton, right? So where's the proton? Acid has the proton, right? So base will go and accept a proton. So how do we show when it's accepting a proton? With a curved arrow. So base will go and grab the proton, okay? So if base goes and grabs a proton, right? It will form a bond with the proton. So that will become HB. Right, so base goes and picks up a proton and becomes HB, right? Now, don't forget that this, this hydrogen is bonded with the A, right? So in this process, if it takes away the hydrogen, then this electron pair goes on A, right? So if the electron pair goes on A, then A becomes A minus, okay? So in this case, hydrogen is donated to your base. So base will go and pick up a proton when I say it's picking up a proton, that means it will go and form a bond with the proton, right? So it's forming a bond with the proton. But the, the bond between A and H, that bond will break off and that electron pair will go on A and that will become A minus, all right? Now, if we just focus on the right-hand side here, right? So if I focus on only this part right here, right? so what I have, I have A with negative charge, okay? And by definition, Anything with a negative charge is a base, right? And anything with a hydrogen, anything with a hydrogen is an acid, right? Now the problem is I cannot have acid and acid and a base and a base. I cannot have two acids and two bases in the same reaction, okay? So just to discriminate left-hand side with the right-hand side, on the right hand side, if you have an acid and base, we call it as conjugate base and conjugate acid. Okay, so why we call them conjugate? Because they're on the product side, okay? So this is your reactant side and that's your product side, all right? But again, if you go by the structure, they're the same, right? So A minus is, negative charge is a base and HB is, your yeah, acid so that's your acid and that's your base all right so this is a very very important reaction all right so make sure you try to understand this reaction because all the reactions we're going to do later on will be similar to this okay the only difference would be instead of having a it will be a real molecule or instead of having just b minus you might have oh minus okay but the way you handle it is still the same okay so this is a very important reaction make sure you understand what is bronsted acid, what is bronsted base, how we define them, and then what is conjugate acid and conjugate base. All right? So what we'll do next now, we'll, we'll take an actual example. Okay? If you have an actual acid, let's say if you have HCl and NaOH, or, 
a real asset and a real base, and then we'll mix them together and we'll see what happens next. All right. So if you take a real example, right, so we have HCl. Okay, I just wrote down differently HCl as H and Cl. So HCl, and you have OH minus, which is your NaOH. Right. <clears throat> so which is your acid, which is your base, right? So anything with a proton is an acid, right? So this is your AH, that's an acid, and B minus, that's your base, right? So what I'm doing here is I'm comparing that with the general reaction we did before, right? So B minus and HA, right? So what happens then, B minus, the base will go pick up the hydrogen, and the electron pair will go on A, right? <clears throat> so that becomes A minus, and that will become HB. Right? And we can apply the same logic to this reaction right here. Right? So if I apply the same logic to this reaction, then base will go pick up the hydrogen. Right? So instead of B minus, now we have O minus. Right? And H and Cl, right? so you have H and A. So your A is a Cl, so the electron pair will go on Cl. So that will become Cl minus, that's your. And then you have O picking up the hydrogen. So O picks up a hydrogen and that becomes OH, right? So <clears throat> anything which has a negative charge is your base, but since you have a product side, this is your conjugate base and this is your conjugate acid. Okay, and this is your base and that's your acid. Okay, so when I say it's a base or acid, we're referring to a bronsted acid and bronsted base. All right. So, so if you, the key here again is to compare with the general equation. Right. So we have B minus and HA, and then you exactly compare what is your B minus here and what is your H and what is your A. So it'll be easier for you to write down the product. All right. So let's say another example here. We have a structure like this. <clears throat> so, again, we can compare exact same way. So, anything which has a negative charge is a base. So, this is your B minus. Right? That's your base. And HA. So, in this case, you have four hydrogens, but we just need one. Okay. For doing one reaction, we just need one. So, this is your HA. And A is your carbon. Right? So, base will go pick up the hydrogen. Base will go pick up the hydrogen, and that will leave the electron pair back on A. So, we can do that by the same thing here. I say carbon is your A, so that will become C minus, and oxygen will pick up the hydrogen, so that will become HOCH3. Right. So this will be your conjugate base, and that will be your conjugate acid. So anytime you do a bronsted acid base reaction, then you will have a conjugate acid and conjugate base as product. Right. So another example <clears throat> let's say you have HCl <clears throat> and H2O. So HCl, anything which has a hydrogen, right? So HCl is our acid, so HA, that's your acid. And B with electron pair now. So B does not have a negative charge, but B has electron pair here. So that's your base. So acid and base, right? So base will go pick up the hydrogen. So your base is electron pair on the oxygen. And that will go on A. So in this case, you'll have a Cl minus, right? Oxygen has two hydrogens already, and you're putting a third hydrogen. Okay. So that will look like this. Right? <clears throat> so oxygen is having three bonds now, and if you have a three bonds on oxygen, then that should have a formal charge of plus one. Right? 
So negative charge is your conjugate base and a hydrogen will have your conjugate acid. So conjugate base and conjugate acid. All right. So anytime you have a hydrogen, sorry, anytime you have oxygen or nitrogen, make sure you pay extra attention for formal charges. Right. So let's do one other example here. <clears throat> Say you have water with H2SO4. All right. <clears throat> so let's find out the product. So what will be your conjugate acid and conjugate base in this case? All right. Now until now, whenever we had a hydrogen, we are only dealing with one hydrogen, right? But in this case, H2SO4 has two hydrogens written together. Okay. So anytime you have H2SO4 make sure you split the structure. So you split the structure like this. So this is the structure for H2SO4. All right, so you have H2SO4. So there's a structure. And then you have water. All right. <clears throat> so which is your acid now? Like okay, sulfuric acid, your acid, right? Because you have your HA. Your A is your oxygen right there, or so HA, and that's your B with electron pair. Okay, so base will go pick up the hydrogen, right? So base will go pick up the hydrogen, and that will go on A. So I will write down water like this, so you can see all three hydrogens. Oxygen should have a plus charge, right? And O becomes O minus. That becomes O minus. All right. So that will be your conjugate base because that has a negative charge now. And if it has a hydrogen, that will be your conjugate acid. So conjugate acid and conjugate base. All right. So anytime you have H2SO4, make sure you split it like this. So you can see which hydrogen you need to pick up. Okay, you can pick this or you can pick this, either way is fine. But make sure that you show one hydrogen at one time. All right, so we just saw that anything with a hydrogen is an acid, right? And anything with electron pair or a negative charge is your base, right? <clears throat> and when you mix acid and base together, then base goes and picks up a hydrogen, the electron pair goes on. A, so that becomes A minus N H B. Right, so this is your base, that's your acid, this is your conjugate base, and this is your conjugate acid. Okay, so we can use acronyms here like this: conjugate base, conjugate acid. Right. Now, if let's say the question is, what would be so what's the conjugate? acid of H2O. Okay. So what will be the conjugate acid of H2O? Okay. So in this case, we are trying to find out what will be the conjugate acid of H2O. Okay. So conjugate acid is coming from where? It's coming from the B. Right? So B picks up a hydrogen okay, and changes to a conjugate acid. Right? So if I'm comparing, I'm basically comparing these two together, right? So if I want a conjugate acid, then I have to treat water as a base in a reaction. Right? So base will go pick up a hydrogen and change into a conjugate acid, right? So what we can do, if I just want to find out a conjugate acid of H2O, then I have to run a pretend reaction, okay? Just a dummy reaction here. So I can use water as a base because I'm trying to find out the conjugate acid and conjugate acid is coming from the base, right? So B picks up a hydrogen, so I have to treat water as a base, right? But I don't have any acid in the reaction, okay? Because I found my base here because that's your water, okay? So what I can do is I can put a pretend acid here, right? 
So I can pretend that there's an acid sitting in the reaction. Okay, I don't know what A here is because that's not given to you. And then base can pick up a hydrogen from here. And that will go on A minus. Right? So that will become A minus right here. And right. so now oxygen oxygen becomes up, picks up a hydrogen. So that will become OH, and that will be your conjugate acid. So this is what I wanted. So the answer is this. So what will be the conjugate acid of H2O? That's the conjugate acid of H2O. And how did I find out? I have to run a pretend reaction here, okay? Because I, there's only one thing given to you, which is water, okay? And if you know this reaction very well, then it's very easy to find out, okay? How do I find out conjugate acid? Base picks up a hydrogen and changes to a conjugate acid. So I have to treat water as a base in this reaction. And I can keep the same acid here because I don't have an acid right, given in the reaction. So I can just pretend and then find out the product. All right. Or we can do other way around. Okay. If the question is, what's the conjugate base of water? Okay. You, can, you can do any molecule here. right? So if I want to find out what is, what is the conjugate base of H2O. Right? So again, in this case, what I would do is I would run a a dummy reaction okay and so let's say we have all right so we have water now right so that's what we're starting with water right and I want to find out a conjugate base. So I want to find out conjugate base in this case. All right. So where the conjugate base coming from? Okay. A loses the hydrogen, okay, and becomes A minus. That's where the conjugate base coming from. Okay. So if I have an acid, okay, I can get a conjugate base from an acid. So that means I have to use water as an acid in the reaction. I can throw a base here. So that can be a pretend base again because I don't have a base given here. Okay. So I can throw a base, pretend base here, and that will pick up the hydrogen, and that electron pair will go on. Oh. So that will be, you already have the two electron pairs, and that will become O minus, right? So that's your A, okay? And then you have your HB as a conjugate acid. So anything which has a negative charge is a base, okay? So that will be your conjugate base. So the answer is OH minus.